Hello students, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSIPU College, Mysore. Today I am going to explain you the another practical program that is a program to check whether a given string is palindrome or not. So what is the meaning of palindrome? Consider a string called mom. Even if you reverse the string, you will get the same string called mom. So this type of strings are called as palindrome. Consider another example called Gopal. So reverse this string. So the string becomes LAPOG. It is not same as the given string. So this type of strings are not palindrome. So for this concept we are going to write a C++ program to check whether a string is palindrome or not. So what is the first step? First step we have to include the required header files. That is ash include iostream.h. This header file is a supporting file for C in and C out. And next header file is ash include conio.h. So it contains basic functions like clear screen and get ch. And next header file is ash include iomanip.h. Ash include iomanip.h. So this header file is used for manipulators to manipulate the output on the display screen we use this header file next header file is ash include string dot h this header file is used when we are using any string functions in our program so it contains string functions like string compare string reverse string copy etc in the main function I am going to declare the required variables that is char the data type is of char string of 50 and reverse of 50 clear screen function to clear the previously generated output on the display screen next see out using this See how statement I am going to print the statement as it is. That's why I have enclosed within double quotes. Enter a string. To accept a string, there is a function called getLine. Scene dot getLine function is used to accept the string str comma size is 50. So after accepting what we have to do we have to copy the contents of string variable to the another variable called reverse using string copy function using string copy function reverse comma string here we are copying the contents of string variable to the reverse variable. We are reversing the contents of reverse variable using string reverse, string reverse function. Using string reverse function, we are going to reverse the contents of the variable reverse. Next, we are going to compare the contents of string variable as well as the reverse variable using the function called string compare using the function called string compare comma reverse is equal to zero while comparison if both the contents are same then it is equal to zero if it is equal to zero we have to print it as c out it is a palindrome it is a palindrome 
else c of it is not a palindrome it is not a palindrome get ch function to hold the output screen until the user presses any key on the keyboard so close the main function so this is the program to check whether a given string is palindrome or not first we have what we have to do we have to accept a string using get line function so after accepting we have to copy the contents of string variable to the reverse variable after copying we have to reverse the contents of the reverse variable we have to compare the contents of string variable as well as the reverse variable if the contents are same like this mom or malayalam string even if you reverse this string you will get the same string so if the contents are same then we have to print it as a palindrome else it, it is going to print it as it is not a palindrome now let's see how to execute this program in turbo c++ now let's see how to execute a program to check whether a given string is palindrome or not in turbo c++ first click on ms dos box you will get a screen click on file new option so in the documentation section i'm going to write the program name write a C++ program to check whether a given string is a palindrome or not include the required header file such as ash include io stream dot h so this provide basic services to the c++ program and uses seen and see out objects next header file is ash include conio.h this header file contains basic functions like clear screen and get ch next header file is ash include iomanip.h this header file is used to manipulate the output on the display screen next header file is ash include string dot h to include the string functions we have to write this header file void main so now declare the required variables char the data type is of char type string of 50 and reverse of 50 so here we are taking another variable called reverse to store the contents of string variable clear screen function to clear the previously generated output on the display screen so using see out statement this is the insertion operator we are going to enter the string so we are printing it on the display screen and will represents end of the line so to accept the string using seen dot get line function we are going to accept the string str comma 50 so using string copy function we are going to copy the contents of string variable to the reverse variable string variable to the reverse variable so after that we are going to reverse the contents of the reverse variable using string reverse function so after reversal function we are going to compare the contents of string as well as the reverse variable using string compare function string compare str comma reverse so if it is equal to 0 we are going to print it as 
see out it is a palindrome it is a palindrome else it is not a palindrome get ch function save this file click on file select save option so here i am going to save the file as experiment 12 experiment 12 .cpp. cpp is extension of c++ program now compile this file press control f9 we don't have any errors so now enter the string so i am going to enter the string as malayalam so even after the reversal of this string we'll get the same word that's why it is called it as palindrome to check the another option that is it is not a palindrome again compile the file and enter a string for example, I am going to print it as, write it as weather. So, it is not a palindrome. After reversal of this given string, we won't get the same string. That's why it is not a palindrome. So, this is the program to check whether a given string is palindrome or not. So, to quit from this, click on file, quit option. So, here you have to type the exit command. So, in the next session I will come with a new program. Thank you.